What's going on everybody? It's Mike from Sunny Slope Homestead and today I've got a serious issue that I am sick and tired of. Because once again, I've got the ivy and even worse, it's infected. Why? Because if you guys follow my channel and my community updates, we were taking brush out of this area right here. Now, mind you, I'm the only one who got poison ivy or whatever is going on with me. I'm the only one affected by it. Why? I don't know. But I'm about fed up with it. So, it dawned on me, it's time to concentrate on the things that are close to the house and not out in the back four acres or whatever that really don't have a direct effect on me. So, we cleared all this out the other day. And my idea was, is I was going to spray all this down. I was going to start chopping it out, but I am, um, I'm done with it. I can't go near this stuff because obviously I have such a bad infection. I'm on a steroid cream and antibiotics, and this is keeping me from work because this stuff is just oozing out of my skin. Nonetheless, I'm going to let some of these freeloaders around here, they're going to do this work for me. And what do I mean, the freeloaders? I mean, these loud guys, all they do is scream and holler for food, food, feed me, feed me, feed me. So guess what? I'm gonna feed them. I'm gonna let them feast on all that up there. But there's a hitch. I have to cut a streamline in here so I can run the electric fence to keep these buggers in. So the plan is, I'm going to put a fence right down the back side of my retain wall. And we're gonna run it up as far as we can up here. And we're gonna let these goats go to town. There's one concern though. I am new to goats. Do I still give them alfalfa or their Timothy hay? And do I still supplement them with some, uh, some goat kibble should i call it i still like to give them minerals but there is plenty of green luscious stuff that they can chew on so i'm not sure so i guess the next thing is, is i have to go and get the mower and start cutting lines in here and seeing how far i can go with this fence so there's no time to now <laughs> So the hardest part is going to be is running that fence and all this brush because I don't know if you guys ever deal with chicken netting before but that stuff is an absolute nightmare to deal with because it catches on every little single branch and twig out there. <sighs> so this ought to be interesting. You guys uh, sit back, watch, didn't take long before I got nasty and sweaty and enjoy about the shenanigans about to take place because you know, mosquito, tick infested, poison ivy. Oh yeah, did I mention I also got a swollen eardrum? Ooh, let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Yeah, you know, life is good, but it could be worse. And I've caught my first stick, guys. This is amazing. Once in a lifetime, this never really happens. And I caught my foot. You ever feel like you should just quit while you're ahead? That's how I'm feeling right now. This stuff ain't easy, that's for sure. I hope you guys appreciate all the hard work that I'm doing for you in preparing this meal of fresh greens that you're about to feast upon. Yeah? Nothing to say? Nothing to say. They're speechless as always. Oh. And if you guys know my goats, they're never speechless. I got it, guys. All 165 feet. Well, actually 300 and some change but who's counting 
but I've got it all done. I didn't film me putting this poultry in because it's a lot of cuss words. But needless to say, it got done. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be putting goats in there and setting up the charger for this because I'm not going to go with the solar charger. I'm going to go with a, um, I don't know, we, the plug-in, the 110 uh, red zapper, I think it's called. We're going to see how that works because where I got to hook that charger up, there's not a whole lot of sunlight. So we're going to do uh, external power. All right. Well, hope you guys stay tuned and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, you're not going to believe what just happened to me, but at least she didn't get it this time. So I was picking up my solar charger, even though I said I was going to use the 110 charger, temporarily I was going to use the solar charger because it is charged up just to buy me a little bit of time because life has been a little busy. I go to buy, uh, excuse me, I go to pick up this solar charger and you're not going to believe what decided to make a nest inside this solar charger in the itty bitty hole in the background. And I didn't see it. And I got stung. So I gotta take my wedding ring off before I get uh get too uh too swollen up. Let's see this real quick. See if I can get you to focus. See that? Can I see daddy? Yep, see? So um. I gotta get my wedding ring off. Oh yeah, see, I'm already having a hard time, and this is my bad hand too, so, oh man. Yeah. Yep, already wish, starting to swell up. I wish we could. Or I'm just, I'm just big boned, but yeah, look at that. Starting to, starting to get it. But we're at the solar charger, let me show you. So what it is, I picked up that solar charger, and they, the solar charger has like nail hook marks on the back of it where or like eyelets where you can hang stuff up or hang the solar charger on a fence post. And wasps had made a nest inside there. And they flew out and one landed on me and got my hand. I don't know if I can, and I can't necessarily spray inside there because there's electronics in there. So uh, I don't know if I got, what choices I have. I know I should toy with these guys. <laughs> given the fact of my allergic reaction last time, but I'm, I'm going to I'm going to tap on this thing see if I can get them to come out. So you are so dumb. If you guys don't hear from me, you know what happened. Forget that I'm starting to swell up. Save yourself. Oh, it's a doe. Hi, doe. It's a little doe. Here the doe. What? Yeah, it's a little doe. Well, at least our bad luck turned into good luck. Found a deer. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys got to see a deer. Uh, I'm going to let that be. I'm not going to mess with it tonight. There's more in there than I thought. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not feeling very good. That bee sting is really messing me up. We'll see how I fare out tomorrow. So this is gonna be a three-part video. So don't take off just yet. Besides, you guys see if I'm gonna be looking like Quasimodo. Oh! Oh! So I do apologize for a choppy video. Life has just been complicated this, this, this summer. I don't know what it is. So we will see you here in about two seconds. One, two. All right, we are back and we're doing this today, people. We're gonna move those goats no matter what happens. I'm feeling better and I really need to get out of this rut. So goats are happening today. We have to go get those grounding rods out of the ground. I think those hornets may have moved on, I don't know. But I'm gonna put some tape over those holes and I'm gonna move that sucker somewhere else and let those things die off. And we'll get those grounding rods out and we'll be putting this bad boy in. 25 mile red snapper. So, I ought to keep those goats in. You ready for the big move? You guys sure are loud, but when I start talking to you, you real quiet. Well, 
This is a fence charger that you plug into an extension cord so you don't need sun to charge it. Cool. Yep. Let's get our fence plugged in. We'll see how hard it's hitting. Mm -hmm. So we'll go to this the moist part of ground here, the wet part. See how hard we're hitting. Ooh, we're hitting hard. 7,000. So even when you hear those snaps, it doesn't matter when you're using a charger like this because you uh you don't have to worry about running out of battery. So we'll just let that snap all at once. And I think we're ready to move goats. What do you think, bud? We gotta fill this water up and then we gotta move some goats, huh? Yep. Yep. That's well, the fun part. That's the fun part. So when you uh when you get into this goat pen, all you gotta do, bud. Mm-hmm. Just unplug it. Unplug it. Okay. And plug it back in. Okay. Nothing left to it but to do it, right? Yep. Let's do it. I know the suspense is killing you, isn't it? We're getting the treats right now. You guys about ready to go see your new spot? Your golden corral? Should I call it? We're gonna call it the Golden Corral. You guys ready to go to the Golden Corral? Uh, Boots, can you not chew on that fence? Um, I know you're hungry, but if you can just wait in line, we'll, we're gonna get you some grub, trust me. Besides, that doesn't taste good anyways. We ready, mama, we're moving goats. That's how it's done, people. Pack it, or, yeah, pack it. Hey. Mama G, what do you think of the Golden Corral? She's like, I want dessert. <laughs> I want some of them animal cookies. Give some to Boots. Boots. He, don't care. He, he, he wants the main for us. Oh, he's picking my fingers. <laughs> These guys absolutely love animal cookies or crackers. Are they animal crackers or cookies? Crackers. Animal crackers. Goats love animal crackers. Oh, they won't eat them no. off the ground. I forgot. Nope. Patches. Get down. <laughs> They're animals. These guys are animals. They're party animals. Mm, this, this stuff is delicious, Mike. Oh, man. You, could, you weren't lying. It's worth the wait. Mm, man, I'm with... Where's the chocolate fountain you were talking about, this golden corral? Mm, it's delicious. I, I haven't eaten like this in, in weeks. Woo! We are giving the smorgasbord of the golden corral here for green stuff to eat, but we are bringing their mineral bucket over because we do want them to have a little bit of mineral. Why don't you put that bucket over here when we get a chance? So we'll set, yeah, we'll set it over the flat spot right here. Right there. We'll just set it right there. Oh man, them chickens are in hog heaven. Look at that. Hold on. Good. Oh yeah, they've been waiting for this day for a long time. Hey. Well, we got to get out of here and let them find out this fence is no joke. So now at this point, I'm going to go to the furthest part of the fence and see how hard it's hitting with my fence tester. Make sure we're getting current through the whole distance because this is probably about, oh man, what is it? 360 feet of poultry netting that I got running on a 25 mile uh, fence charger. So all the popping and stuff, that does take a toll, does take a toll on your, your fence. And it knocks it down. Oh man, it's went through some spider webs. Whew. That's all I need is to get bit by something else. Oh. Man, I'm telling you, man, you see how thick it is back here? It's like, it's like mini Vietnam. Oh yeah, we're hitting. We're firing all cylinders on this one. Good. I want them to eat all that down. Whew. And then afterwards, they can work up top. Oh, try not to fall on this electric fence. Afterwards, 
they can start on all this stuff and go up here and hit all this stuff. So we're gonna see how much damage they can do in a week. And I'm gonna post updates. Oh my gosh, you got a, can got a spider on my camera. Did he? And I'm gonna post uh, updates on the, on the damage on the Golden Corral here and see how much they eat in a week. So I'll put that on the community post on my page. So if you guys wanna see that, you gotta hit that subscribe, you gotta hit the follow along so we can get those community posts out to you. You guys think he's gonna chew on that fence again anytime soon? I don't know if you guys caught that, but he uh, he's tried to gnaw on that fence a little bit and he got lit up. You're gonna learn today, son. He's still going You're gonna mess with that fence, babe. Why don't you get a drink of water? Put them flames out. I don't think it's funny that an animal got hurt, but no, I it's don't. not funny, but you know, it's a fact of life. They've got to learn how to, this fence is, that's what keeps them inside this area. Is they've got to get hit by that fence. But what the funny part was is how he, he bucked and he jumped and he almost ran over, I don't know, one of them. I, I didn't catch yeah, it. It happened all so fast. He ran on top of mom and ran into patches. We finally got those goats moved. Been a long time coming. I've only been working on it for, I don't know, three days. <laughs> but life keeps on getting in the way, but that is always going to be the case. So, we're going to move on. We're going to be more positive. We're going to get through this like we always do. And when in doubt, I always think to myself, a wise man once said, I can. So, that's going to be the end of this video. I appreciate you guys watching. And remember, you guys subscribe. If you guys want to get the community updates on the pictures on how much damage they do to that back area, because I'll take photos and I'll post them on my account. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys on the next episode, Sunny Soap Homestead. See you guys.